All right, so we've done some soul searching over lunch. We've decided that we don't really want to see Air Peninsula off like that. We owe it a bit more. The weather's cooled down. The flies aren't as bad. The wind's calmed right down. Yeah. And Greenlee Beach is calling our name for sunset. Yeah. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back up that way. We've still to find these rock pools. So we're going to dedicate the rest of this guy's to finding those rock pools and showing you a banger of a sunset. Ta-da! That's a chocolate through one mango. That's mine. I know. So we've been hunting, if you watched the previous video, we've been hunting for croissants for a while now. Because um, there's this one amazing shop in Australia that sells the best croissants we've ever had since since uh, France. And um, the size for of some that. reason, look at that, it's bigger than my face. For some reason, they don't sell it first thing in the morning. Excuse me while I lick my fingers. They don't sell it first thing in the morning. For some reason, they put out the donuts and the cakes first, <laughs> and then put out the croissants later on. But well, we finally went to one that had them out first thing in the morning. So we're having a nice breakfast of croissants by the sea in Port Lincoln, and then we're going to go and explore in the town a little bit because there's a strawberry fair on just up the road, and I also fancy some free strawberries. So hopefully, <laughs> we'll get some of them. What are you seeing? Food as usual. Do you know what I did see? What? It's really unhealthy. One dollar donuts. One dollar. And it helps keep the doctor flying. Or were they oh, caused then? Yeah, or were they caused? Is that good? I see them. We're just about to go down to the Woolshed Caves again. Today we are on a mission. Yeah, we want to try and find the best rock pools in South Australia. Yeah, and it's not that warm. As you can see, we are wrapped up. I'm dressed like an Eskimo. But we're going to do it nonetheless. Yeah. For you guys, for no one else, we're going to go find the best rock pools that South Australia has to offer. Good. Let's see what happened there. Destroying poor Roxy. So basically, we've read, we follow these stairs down here. Yeah, and then where we're going? So, yeah, the caves are down there to your left. We're gonna go that way. Is it what? It's a little crab just moved in that rock. So, you can see him. There. He's like very camouflaged. David, At David Attenborough over here. <laughs> so we found the first one of them. What do you think? The sun's hot, but the splashes of the waves that are coming in there are possibly be a bit cold. It is quite... It's a bit of a grey day. Yeah. Hopefully the sun comes out. And it's very choppy today. Yeah, Look at this 
one. Prefer. It's taking one for the team and going to the cold water. <laughs> How unfair is that? I've got a hard job as well, guys. Come on. Right. Oh, what happened? No good. How's the water? Really uh, very nearly. I mean, to be fair, it is November. And it is like 8 in the morning. Yeah. The sun's barely been up. So we actually had like a huge rainstorm, like, what, an hour ago? Yeah. If that. And I cleared the skies, we were hoping it would be staying blue, but. Whoa, the clouds have all come in. So it's actually getting pretty toasty, and we're on a mission to find this other rock pool. We have about half an hour, I think, until the tide's at its lowest point. So we're gonna chuck up the drone, see if we can fly it around, see where they are, see what the wave situation is like around there, and maybe wait it out and see whether it's gonna be worth it. So we finally found these pools. That's over the other side of these huge big bulges you can see behind me. We just clambered across about 200 meters worth of them. But we're rewarded with a lovely flat uh, beach of rock. I think that uh, the rock pools are just over here. So we're going to go look at them. The waves aren't too bad around here either. say based on the shape of some of these pools that are like almost man-made in the sense that someone's carved like a love heart in a rock and over the decades it's just grown and grown and grown because it's a little bit too perfect to be shaped like an octopus right on the beach so I'm guessing it's been man-made it's just still really really cool it's quite a little paradise here isn't it all to ourselves I say a lot busier, there's like three uh, people here yeah. instead of zero, which is a lot. Oh, there's a wee puppy. Uh -huh. so there's a lot in my books. Yeah. But we're almost at the rock pools. And I can actually see rock this time, whereas only yeah. before we saw beach. We went to the wrong coordinates. So we made it this time onto Greenley Beach, a bit further along the coast. Tell us about the weather, Gemma. The weather is very different from we were here last night. <laughs> Hence the jacket. Well, we're actually. <laughs> We were on Greenley Beach. Greenley Beach was way over there. Oh yes, yeah, so that we were at the wrong there. beach. Yeah. We were way over there, looking for these rock pools that didn't exist in that location. But it was very hot, very sweaty. Very full of, full of flies, which aren't too bad today at all. No. I think it's the drop in temperature. But I'm okay with that. Yep. I don't mind putting my jacket on. The only thing is, <clears throat> I'm a little bit nervous about. Pools. Because the ready. whole reason that we came here was in search of these rock pools that yep. we saw on Instagram. And if you uh, watched our video when we were in Shooky Bay and we said how we lost our GoPro a few months ago, well today we went to bit the bullet and bought ourselves a new GoPro to basically make us get in the water. Exactly. Now we're definitely regretting that decision yep. and kind of want to return it <laughs> because we don't want to get in that water. No. So, what's the best way to find something when you can't find it? Chuck the drone up. Chuck the drone up. We 
we've run. You, I think we've found what looks like a little rock pool. So we're going to check out it's just over that ridge over there. It's safe to get there without getting washed out the sea. Oh gosh. Those are some serious waves. Yeah, I don't really think it's time to go swimming yet. <laughs> Not looking at those waves. Well, we've found it. Yep. And now we know that we can even just pop the drone and check when it's suitable for swimming. That's think? a good idea, actually. Yeah. I just suggest we hang around here tomorrow. Yeah. I think so. Even though it's supposed to rain tomorrow, it's supposed to be colder. But Maybe we'll reveal it later. Yeah. Hopefully for sunset. We spent the rest of the night watching the sea and waiting for the emergence of the rock pools. So far, the Air Peninsula had been an absolute roller coaster of a journey, but there was something about that night that told us that the best was still yet to come. It had been a long and emotional journey, and it was one that would stick with us for good and for bad. Despite all of its flaws and disappointments, this adventure along the Air Peninsula gave us one of the most important lessons that we could learn while travelling. Never rely on first impressions. It was here in South Australia that we learned the importance of slow travel, the importance of revisiting places that don't wow you the first time, and the importance of never giving up on an adventure. This lesson is one that will stick with us forever and it has changed the way that we travel for good. If you like this video guys, please give it a big thumbs up and if you really like it, why not hit that subscribe button? We have a lot more Australian van life and general world travel adventures to share with you guys and we cannot wait to see you again in the next one.